Hello, everybody. My name is Kyra Delefka, and I'm going to be talking about Expensify today. So what is Expensify? Well, it is one of the tools that is available to you for you to keep track of all of those tax write-offs, okay? So some of those tax write-offs may be your rent, your mortgage, your electricity, your cell phone bill, and of course, all expenses related to your travel. Now, before I begin, I really want to stress that you should be getting your tax advice from a tax professional, okay? So I recommend you reach out to one in your area to really get all of the information you need to make sure that you do your taxes correctly. But with that being said, let's start off with the pricing for Expensify. So even though we are a business, we're really a sole proprietorship which means that you don't need all of these business features, okay? So invoicing and all of that, we really don't need those features. So I recommend that you go down to this individuals and self-employed section of the pricing page and that you stick with track expenses, okay? So some of these features really, all you need Expensify for is to keep a list and keep track of all of the receipts for all of your travel expenses and business expenses. Submit has some other features, but really it's more for people who are trying to get reimbursement for those expenses. All we're really doing is tracking them. So one thing I do want to point out about this is that it is free, but you're only going to get 25 smart scans a month. And we'll talk a little bit more about what a smart scan is. Now, if you find that you love using smart scans and maybe 25 is not quite enough for you, you can upgrade to unlimited smart scans for currently $4.99 a month, okay? Now, I recommend you start out with the free, the free version and you can always go up if you need to, but really great. So go ahead and click start and get signed up. Once you log in, this is what it's going to look like. So your inbox is really going to be the place where Expensify kind of guides you through how to use their tool. So I'm gonna walk you guys through some of the most important things, but when you first log on, there's going to be a to-do list for you. You can definitely work through those things. I have done so, that's why mine is all empty. But some of those things may include like uploading a logo, okay? So it's not really necessary, but it is going to be, you know, helpful for you and you may choose to do those things. But what we're really going to focus on is the expenses. So I have mine currently filtered to only show my unreported expenses and we'll get into reports here in a little bit. You can see I currently have an expense from American Airlines for this amount. And you can actually see my little picture here. So let's kind of click on this. I actually uploaded the receipt from an email that they sent me with my expense here. And it uploaded all of this information. So we've got my date, my merchant, my total, all of that. And it's currently unreported because I'm still working on my July expenses. So how do we go about adding an expense? Well, I actually wanna start off with the smart scan feature. So in order to do that, you're gonna to go to new expense and you're going to go to scan receipt. So this is really awesome guys. It's going to read that receipt and it's going to populate all of the information for me. Now I will say this does take some time because it's having to read through all of this, right? So it can take a little while for these smart scans to upload. So I always recommend doing them and come back a little later to work on your reports once they've all been uploaded. Now it's very important that after the scan is complete that you check the information and make sure it's correct, right? Sometimes it's going to pull a total off the receipt that's not the grand total. So always double check and make sure that it's correct, but it will save you some time. And again, with the free feature of Expensify, you get 25 of these smart scans every month for free included. Now, while we wait on that, let me show you a manual expense. So again, when you go to new expense, you're going to have manually create. So let's say that I want to track my expense for my $69.95 a month that I pay to be a travel agent. And again, we're working on July. So I'm going to select July 1st. That's actually when my monthly fee hits my account. And I'm going to put in the total of $69.95. So we can just see right here, very easy, plug in the merchant, the date, the total. 
I actually add categories to mine. It makes it easy for me to track how things, you know, how much spending I have in each category and it helps keep me organized. So once you play around with this, you're going to figure out how you want to categorize your expenses. You also have a description field And you can type anything that you want in here, okay? So this is just to help you keep track of what this expense actually is. So for example, if you go onto Amazon and maybe you buy some envelopes because you want to mail some information out to your clients. Well, in that case, you may wanna put in the description that you bought envelopes and that your merchant would be Amazon. So just an example of how you can use that description field. Report, we will talk about that shortly. Now, one thing I want to highlight is that you can upload an image to your expense, even if you're not using SmartScan. And I highly recommend that you upload receipts and images as much as you can. Every time that you can, I recommend that you do that because that's going to be your evidence of the expense. Now, this Archer fee, I don't get a receipt in my email for this, but it does show up on my credit card statement. And a credit card statement does serve as a receipt in a way. So when you do your taxes, it's really important that you have that credit card statement that shows the expense, but that you also have a receipt and you keep hold of those receipts as much as you can. So this just helps you digitally store those receipts should you lose them. But in this case, I don't have one. So I'm going to go ahead and save this expense. So looking at this, my smart scan is still going. Uh, like I said, sometimes it takes a couple minutes, but I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the report feature. So reports is over here on the left hand side. And you can see here, these reports are all closed. I'm done with these, but I'm still working on my June and I'm starting to work on my July. So what I'm going to do is create a new report. I recommend that you come up with a naming convention that works for you. I use the year, the month, and I just put expenses. But just come up with a pattern that way that you know what you're doing. So I recommend that you do your expenses on a month by month basis because you know every month you're gonna have those recurring expenses that you're gonna be tracking all the time and it helps you stay organized. But you could also do these on like a quarter by quarter basis but I don't recommend doing it on a year basis because that's just a lot of expenses that are going to be in that report. So take advantage of this report feature and make it more manageable. So what I'm going to do is go up here to add expenses and it's actually going to pull in all of the unreported expenses. So an unreported expense is one that has not been attached to a report yet. So you can see, for example, I don't have any June expenses in here and that's because they've already been added to my June report, okay? So a, an expense cannot be added to multiple reports. It can only be added to one, so keep that in mind. But if you have a lot of expenses in here, this date filter can be really helpful. So since we're doing July, I can do July 1st to July 31st, just to help, oops, that's August, July 31st, just to make it a little easier. And in order to add these to the report, I just have to click them. Super easy, guys. So now you can see I have two expenses loaded into this July expense report. Here is the total. Now let's say that I want to export this. I want to have a file of these expenses. So what I'm actually gonna do is first mark this as closed, okay? So you can always unclose it. You can unmark it as closed, but when you think you're done, I recommend that you close it, okay? So that it shows this closed status. That way you know what you're working on and what you're not working on. So first off, the first way you can export it is to go over here and export to default CSV. So if you're not familiar, a CSV is just like an Excel spreadsheet type of file. So let's open that up and see what it looks like. So you can see here, there's the dates for the expenses. There's the merchants, the amounts. And if you scroll all the way over, the ones that have receipts and pictures, we actually have a link for that. So you can see my receipt here and they're gonna store it in Expensify for me. So that's how you export it as a spreadsheet. 
Now you can actually go over here to details and go over to this download button right here if you want to download it as a PDF. Now it does have to generate the PDF and if you have a lot of expenses with a lot of receipts and images, it is going to take a little bit longer for it to download. But what does this PDF look like? Well, this looks just like the website does with just a list view of the expenses. But you can actually scroll down and you're going to get a little thumbnail sized image of all of the receipts that you've uploaded. And then once you get past those, you're actually going to have the full size view of the receipts. So this is also very helpful. You can send these documents, this PDF and this uh, spreadsheet file to your tax professional when tax season comes around. And it will be very helpful to them, especially with all of those receipts in there. Now, I will say Expensify is also available on your smartphone, so on Android or iPhone. You can use your phone to upload these smart scans and receipts, so you can just take pictures from your phone and upload them if it's easier as well, and it really helps you manage this on the go. So I hope you found some valuable information in this video. Again, Expensify is free to use and it is a really great tool for you to keep track of those tax write-offs. So just keep in mind to keep track of those receipts as the year is going by so that you don't have to do a year's worth of expenses come January. So with that being said, I hope you have a great day and I will see you guys around.